Hello, and in this video we're going to be creating a eccentric cam uh, using parametric values. Uh, parametric values lets us change the size of the item without having to recreate the item or we'll go back and do lots of editing to the item. Uh, so we're going to use Onshape to help us create this object and we're going to be working on the eccentric cam in this case. Uh, so we're going to go in our box project, in our box uh, folder, and we're just going to start a new part. So we're going to create part studio. And then the first thing we're going to do is come over here on the right hand side. There's this uh, configuration panel. We're going to click on that. And we want to do a configuration. So we're going to go to this configuration part studio. And we want a configuration variable. Uh, it pops up this box over here. Uh, first we have to name the variable. In this case, uh, just looking back at this, it's got one quarter D here and it's got D for our diameter. So we're just going to name it as D. Uh, we're going to default it. I'm going to default it as two inches. We can change that to whatever we want. And I'm not going to mess with the minimum and maximum. It's more than what we need in the max and the min goes down to zero. Uh, once we're done with that, we're just going to hit the check. And it pops up over here on the left side a box, so we can change that D value at any time if we want to. I'm going to add a second configuration while we're here. So uh, again, where it says add configuration input, I'm going to click on the arrow and do configuration variable. Uh, this one I'm going to name hole, and that's just for that hole that we saw in the center of the cam. And I'm going to default it to 0.25 or a quarter of an inch. Uh, it says to use 316, so in this case we're going to use a quarter of an inch though. And then we again hit our green check. Now we can start creating this object. So we have, if we look, it's a circular shape with a hole inside the center. Uh, so we'll, that's what we're going to start off creating. Uh, so start our sketch. We'll go on the front. And then I turn my view so it's easier to see. Uh, we saw that eccentric cam had a circular shape. So we're just going to hit our circle tool and create a circle. Uh, how big you make it at the beginning doesn't matter too much because we're going to change that dimension. So we're going to change that to a D for our dimension there. Uh, so once I hit it and I enter it, then I want to dimension it and I just click on my circle and it's going to let me dimension it. So again, we click dimension and it should let us dimension it out. So I click again and what it says 2.709, all I'm going to do is type in a D now and hit enter. And that makes it to that D value. If I was to come over here on this uh, chart and I was change that value, say to three, and then it would change my diameter of my circle there. I'm going to change it back to two, so it's where we started at. And then next, we want to add in our hole. So if we go back and look, the hole is a quarter of an inch below the center, so we have to go and make that hole in that location. So I'm just going to put the hole on the y-axis. Uh, it doesn't matter where because we're going to change it here in a moment. I click to place it and then I'm going to dimension that to uh, the hole size. So I'm just going to change that instead of a number. I just type in hole, hit enter twice and it makes it that 0.025. Finally I'm still dimensioning and I'm just going to go from the center to the center of my circle. I'm going to move this out so it's not in the way. And I just want it 1 fourth or 0.25 times. So shift 8 and then D. Hit enter twice. And it automatically does the math and figures out that's 0.5 inches in this case. Uh, so that gives us that shape we're looking for. If we go back, we have that same shape that they wanted. And then I can just hit my green check. I'm going to change my view just so you can see it a little better and we can extrude that shape out. So I click in there and we, we're going to extrude it out a quarter of an inch. I know it says 0.316, uh, but we're going to use 0.25 in this case. And then we can, once we're done, you can hit the green check and we're finished with our eccentric cam. Uh, last thing I'm going to do is just change the name of my part one, change that to eccentric cam. So I right click and rename eccentric cam. And same thing down here where it says Part Studio 1. I'm going to rename that to Eccentric, Eccentric Cam. That way when I'm using it later on, it's easier to recognize. Hopefully this helps in your creation of the Eccentric Cam. Uh, again, these configurations, you can just change that value and it's going to go to whatever size you need it to. Uh, good luck. If you need help, let me know.